Hello everyone, Mike again with Newfound Pasts. Back at you again with another haul video. I uh, want to thank all of our new subscribers and every time I get an opportunity I shout out to Parrothead Picker for uh, making most of those happen. We do appreciate it. And reminder, we do these haul videos every Tuesday. They'll be released. I record them on Monday and release them on Tuesday. Uh, this past weekend, we only went to uh, uh, no garage sales this past weekend. It's been torrential downpours here in uh, Northern Virginia, in the DC area. Uh, but so we didn't go into garage sales. They're all hit and miss, cancellations. They move them, whatever. But we hit. We only hit two thrift stores our regular 50% off and one other one we one of our other normal ones a lot of most Sundays we go to like 12 or 13 of them but my, my back stock is getting so piled up I can't even keep up with listing I got a huge pile to to list which I'm sure you all empathize with everyone has their their death piles but uh, I'll get to it you know coming off vacation when I went to my niece's graduation and stuff it seems like eBay sales just die coming off of vacation mode so I'm still trying to get the sales going again but it's okay they'll come back they always do so but let's just jump right in <clears throat> pan over I got two sealed 24 DVD sets and like I've said before uh, you know I, I uh, send these to a, a local source but I buy most of the time sealed and these were this was 25% off day of Salvation Army so three dollars a piece and that one's the same way for sealed this is a uh, season three and that one is season four so you know why not i buy these little these little hook you know these expandable accordion things because i put them up on my walls and put my coffee mugs on them what i do is put a little a zip tie around the end because you know the handle could slip off of that but a little zip tie around the end and leave the the little tail don't cut off the tail and leave it out and just hook the mug on they won't go anywhere I've done that for a long time you know and i picked these up for just a buck or two I, you know i got big huge long ones i got a couple of those full of mugs and yeah this one was the buck so yeah i just picked those up when i see them only one remote this week but this one's pretty awesome it's a kenwood remote control unit i didn't even look it up it was only 99 cents full price <laughs> but that's okay uh, we'll jump to the back again the sharp personal organizer uh, 512 kilobytes Ooh. <laughs> of memory so it's an old one but it's sealed the comps on it on ebay were you know only like 20 bucks on amazon it seemed like they were bringing a little bit more money probably very very long tail but it was sealed and it was only five dollars so you know low risk whatever not that huge of a deal this Casio disc title printer. Uh, this is brand new in the box. The box is a little shelf worn, but brand new in the box. And I only paid $5 for this. And even used, these things sell for 40 bucks or so. And new, you know, 75, 80 bucks. So that was a really good find. I'm paying over here. This is the, uh, a Logitech cordless desktop setup, the S510 model. And it's brand new uh, the box is shelf worn all to heck but it's brand new in the wrap the mouse is in there I opened the box up make the the, the uh, manuals the driver discs the cords you know the wireless dongle and all that stuff it's all in there paid up a little bit for it it was $29.99 so and it was half price so 15 bucks but new these things go for 50 bucks or so so I'm like eh, it's not a great margin but you know they seem to sell pretty consistently, so why not? Okay, these uh, these are like vintage uh, shoe inserts, the the shoe shapers, uh, shoe horn, whatever you want to say what they are. This is only a dollar fifty, and these are old. These are these are like hand carved. And my wife picked these up, and I didn't comp them out. They're only a dollar fifty, so I'm sure she comped them. So they'll bring what they bring. My wife picked up this. This is a Ray Dunn collection life is less is more and she picks up this stuff and it, it's it was only a dollar and yeah so i trust her this pier one imports coaster set and it's really cool because it's a dog it has all different kinds of dogs i did this was new 
but they put this tape over it but i opened it up because you never can't tell if one underneath is going to be cracked or not and they were all brand new and uh yeah so i picked those up they bring like 20 or 25 dollars well there's the price it was only a dollar fifty so you know the 2.99 dollar fifty so yeah it was pretty good some blank media some three and a half floppies this is brand new the, the 3m floppy disk pack of 50 i didn't even comp these out because i've sold these before but it's been a while it's only three bucks so even if they bring you know 25 30 dollars that's fine but they may bring more than that i don't know this was really cool right? this isn't like one from the 90s or 80s that'd be really cool but still it's it's still really cool it's brand new original snapback it was two dollars and fifty cents so you still got the insert in there everything and i didn't comp it out because i just thought it was cool and i would pick it up and uh yeah we'll see what she brings maybe we do source to sold i don't know i know i haven't gotten any of those up but it just takes a while because you just you're basically on these source to sold videos i want to do i'm picking one or two things out of 50 i'm listing and, and following them along but anyway uh nintendo av cord and i can't remember if this is gamecube or n64 but you know, it's the real deal and i picked these up for you know this was a dollar fifty so i pick them up and match them up with with units i find this is just a bag of junk i was like oh that's a bunch of junk but in here there's a package and it's new but it's it's peeled off but all these boxes are new and they're the four boxes of super bang roll caps I'm sure people remember cap guns right this whole bag was only a dollar and these caps sell for 15 to 20 bucks so i went ahead and picked that up even though i'm you know probably end up giving away or whatever the rest of the junk in there but yeah it's worth picking up all right let's pan over here let me see here let's see if i can there we go we got these these hunter uh muck boots or rain boots and these were six dollars and fifty cents regular price was 13 half off so 650 um and the trick with these i mean obviously you got to look for obvious flaws and defects and these you know had a few scratches and stuff but no big deal you know a little bit of the whiting on the rubber and stuff but what you got to do with these is you know you got to bend them around and make sure the the seams aren't cracking and i'll still put these in submerge them in water and make sure they're all watertight you know because people want to know that but they comp for 60 or 70 bucks so it is a little bit of a risk but they looked really good tested them out seemed all right the sun lamp kit by ge from the straight from the 70s you know people used to tan under these 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 lights like no way to <laughs> would never do that it was only two dollars and fifty cents it was brand new the box is a little banged up used ones going for 20 25 dollars uh that one being new i don't know 40 50 bucks hopefully that'd be great like I said, it was only five dollars there's a pottery plate here my wife picked up my wife's really good at picking pottery and it was four bucks so she's picked several pieces like this and we'll get 50 60 70 bucks out of them I'm like great because i know nothing about pottery <laughs> picked up a cordless phone a panasonic seven dollars and fifty cents it's not brand new but it is really close to it it was in really good condition everything's in there the manuals the original plastic everything the box so and comps on those were 40 and 50 bucks so yeah i went in and picked that up but that's probably the i mean my favorite find of the whole weekend even though we only went to two stores was this ghostbusters tent to slumber tent and this is the real deal this is from 1984 it's on here somewhere but yeah i mean this is something that i would have loved as a kid that we couldn't afford because we were poor but look at this it was only a dollar 99 you, isn't that crazy about ero a dollar 99 i didn't even open it up because i just thought it was so cool it's it's heavy so the tent is in there but you can hear the pieces in there too so i mean originally back in 84 this was 25 bucks so i mean it was clearanced out but still that's just it's unreal oh there it is let's see if i can get you focused in on this 
1984 Columbia Pictures so cool I didn't comp it or anything so people want to give me a comment tell me how much I should ask for this yeah shoot me a comment so I have no idea the the shelf I have back here all this stuff sitting on we picked this up for uh, $15 I need a shelf just to put some of my personal tchotchkes on you know how you end up with a bunch of stuff and we got this at our half off local place this is a crate and barrel new these are 200 bucks and it's got some it's got some metal hooks underneath i know you can't see them but there's one but yeah i'm gonna hang that up on my uh, shelf by my computer and uh use that for some of my personal tchotchkes got some mugs of course at huntsville alabama i guess my wife picked this up this i guess a space camp they didn't have the space camp in huntsville u.s space rocket center and it was a buck so yeah it's brand new so yeah why not life is good the horse these aren't quick sellers but they sell it was only 99 cents so they sell for 10 15 dollars this one i picked up just i was like oh, it looks kind of weird but it's a starbucks and it's brand new 2007 99 cents yeah didn't even look it up because it's brand new this windows is a microsoft professional developers conference mug it's 99 cents brand new see the i don't i didn't even comp that because i just thought it was cool this one i broke my own rule on because it is crazed oh look at that i mean it's bad i would normally never touch this but somebody might want to set this on a shelf it's a bradley fighting vehicle tow to mug 99 cents nothing on ebay like this there's some bradley fighting vehicle mugs but nothing like this so you know even if it brings 10 or 15 dollars it's only 99 cents like i said you probably wouldn't want to use that because of all the crazing but this one was pretty cool it's a little ireland mug it's made in ireland you won't be able to i could barely make this out it's like carrying horn carrying hound or something 99 cents you know 10 or 15 dollars i have one of these listed it's the national zoo in washington dc with the pandas from 1980 and i have one exactly like this listed so i don't know if i want to pair it up with the other one and sell a set of two or just put quantity two tell me what you guys think clean this up and get the price tag off and yeah should i do quantity two or should i pair them up let me know these on their own wouldn't bring much it's a single finger fiesta just the orange it was only 35 cents but the reason the only reason i bought this because i have some others and i'll you know do like a set of four of them and sell them for 20 bucks or something so you know 35 cents it's like whatever <laughs> all right so on to close like i said it's not a lot of hard goods but we did okay with only two stores a pair of jean shorts jorts these are silver tabs size 32 which isn't you know a great size but they're only three bucks and they comp for 25 bucks or so good shape you know always check your crotch <laughs> good shape yeah no problem Hey, remember last week with all my 4xl stuff it was just amazed and we went out and lo and behold we found another one you know i talked about that lag of them putting stuff out too 4x columbia sportswear company paid up a little bit seven dollars and fifty cents but still columbia sportswear a 4x brand new this should comp out for 35 dollars or so so yeah i went ahead and went for it this is something I've never bought before and uh because it never even crossed my mind but my wife and I both are college graduates so we have all of our caps and gowns you know people graduate and they just sit in the closet but you know eventually you donate them because what are you going to do with them but this one it's a George Mason University embroidered gown graduation gown and I was like you know that that embroider is pretty cool so I'm going to look this up and yeah they were comping for 50 and 60 dollars i guess because of the embroidery but look at this bam a dollar half off so if i get 50 bucks out of that for a dollar stoked start keeping an eye out for those huh 
this is pretty cool i mean this in and of itself is not great it's a it's a flight suit you know everybody knows this label military label and it's just a basic green flight suit you know with long legs but the reason i picked this one up and i paid up a little bit for it is 10 bucks it's because it has all the patches on it the united states coast united states coast guard has the american flag on it it has the rank insignia i think that's a major i don't know about coast guard but in the marine corps that's a major the gold oak leaf on both shoulders uh, so yeah uh, if that was plain without the patches these can only comp for about 20 or 25 dollars and being it was 10 bucks i probably wouldn't have done it but since it has the patches i decided to go ahead and go for it we got a eddie bauer just a button-up kind of a shirt jacket and it was six dollars and fifty cents which is quite a bit but the only reason i went for it is because it's flannel lined it's heavy flannel lined shirt jacket old style tag extra large really good shape all the buttons there so yeah, i went for that and that'll probably sell for 35 or so I don't know if I've had any of this brand on the videos before, but I have sold this brand before. 511 Tactical Series. And this was $6.50. And this is a vest. It's a 3XL. But I've sold these before at $6.50. This will sell really well. This will sell for $30 to $40. It's a heavy duty. It has the magazine pouches. Yeah, it's a really cool vest. I'll have to run that through the washer. There's a spot on it, but that's no big deal. It'll come right out. I've got three flannels here, flannel shirts. You know, it's not the season for flannel, but I don't care because it'll be winter again. But I probably wouldn't have went for these, even though they're a good brand. They're in good shape. They're L.L. Bean, old style L.L. Bean, traditional fit, but they're a medium, which, ugh, medium. And they're, they're only $3 a piece. But I went for it because that's one. Here is two. Same size, flannel, different pattern. And we're not done yet. We have number three. Again, medium. And the tag is on the inside on this one. This one was only $2.50. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lot those up. I'm gonna lot all three of them up. Probably ask forty to fifty dollars for them, which is only you know fifteen or so a piece for them. So yeah, that's the only reason I went for those. Other than that, that medium, I'm like, eh, a little bit sketchy about that. In this, but this is pretty cool. This is a National Park Service uh, windbreaker kind of a rain jacket made in USA. It was uh, six dollars and fifty cents got the hood and everything and i couldn't find a comparable about this but similar stuff was selling for 30 and 40 dollars so yeah i went ahead and picked this up it's really good condition we have a lot of national parks people around here in washington dc so i went and picked it up this is probably uh this is the last piece wow like i said the hall wasn't that huge so this is the last piece it's really weird i've never seen anything like it i've bought similar style jackets this is that slicky 80s style jacket that does have a zipper on it. I'll show you the, uh, the tag here. M.A. Klein, Union Made in USA. So that tells you right there it's vintage. Union Made in USA, yeah. It's only $3.50. Nothing on the back, but look, this is so weird. National Achiever Society with the big pyramid with the book and at first i thought it said national archiver society i'm like oh that kind of makes sense but no nope, national achievers society and then it has these two patches over there no comps of course there is nothing like this at all so if anyone in the comments wants to tell me about this or what they think i should ask for it let me know because i mean it's in really good shape looks like it's barely worn but at that price three bucks is worth the chance so that's all I got today. Uh, please like, subscribe, you know, hit the bell, blah, 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 all that good stuff. 
If you have any questions, uh, hit me on the comments. I am going to do a, you know, I've talked about the Source to Sold series and I'm still working on that, but I'm also going to do a uh, kind of like a old stale stock. I'm going to do a thing where I take 10 things and uh, convert them to an auction for like 99 cents and just see what they do and we'll cover that as well so thanks guys uh let me know if i can help you with anything but appreciate you watching and have a good week